Hello and welcome. This video will show you how to make a mold using reusable mold making putty called Impressive Putty. This one and a half ounce size of Impressive Putty melts in about 15 seconds in the microwave and with it you can make as many molds as you want. The Impressive Putty will be hot when you take it out of the microwave so be a little careful. You'll see here it's a little bit too hot for me so I'm going to let it set for about 5 to 10 minutes before I make our mold. To make our mold, we are going to press the object into the impressive putty or press the impressive putty over and around the object that we are casting. In this case, a small little Stonehenge sculpture. Smooth out one section of the impressive putty so you don't have any creases in it and press it over your object. The major advantage of the impressive putty is that it can be remelted and reused to make dozens of molds with the same mold making material, saving you lots of money and lots of grief. Other advantages include the ability to make molds off of objects other than materials that are in mold boxes such as on the ceilings or on the walls because it's in putty form. Now we're going to take our mold and put it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes to cool faster. You don't have to do this but it makes the process much quicker. We're now going to remove the original part, the master, from the mold. Because the Stonehenge had slight holes in between the rocks, we're going to have to cut those pieces so that they, the part can be taken out. The other really nice thing about the impressive putty is that you can experiment. If you don't like how a mold comes out, you can always remelt it and do it again as many times as you want. And there's the original part and there's the mold ready to go. For our casting we're going to use a low melt metal. This is actually a Woods metal. W-O-O-D-S developed by a person named Woods. We heat it up with a little torch. It melts at about 165 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can do this with a torch. And for a change, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do, which is use gloves. Highly recommend that you use gloves because metal will burn you, even though it is a lower temperature. And to make our low melt metal casting, we basically pour it into the mold. I'm using a little cup to keep the mold level. After it is cooled, we're going to remove the low melt metal casting from the impressive putty mold. The impressive putty can handle temperatures up to about 200 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go higher by chilling the mold. And ta-da! There is our casting. Stonehenge and metal. You can now make more duplicates of this object or you can remelt the mold to make new objects. And that's what we're going to do with this impressive putty. This particular impressive putty has been remelted and reused four times already and we're going to continue to do it. So stay tuned for more examples of molds made with impressive putty. Thank you for watching. You can learn more about impressive putty at compositemold.com or impressiveputty.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.